Time for another forest fact break, brought to you by the Oregon Forest Resources Institute. Today's topic, tree biology. Trees, like all plants, need sunlight to grow, along with water and nutrients. They use the sunlight to make their own food through photosynthesis. For this process, the tree takes in carbon dioxide from the air and uses it to grow bigger and stronger, releasing oxygen in the process. Now, you probably know the basic parts of a tree. The roots, trunk, crown, and the leaves or needles. But what's going on in there? Come inside, we'll show you. A typical tree has five layers in its trunk. First, the bark. The bark is like a protective jacket for the tree. Under the bark is the phloem. Gesundheit. This is also known as the inner bark. It transports sap and sugars from the needles and leaves to nourish the rest of the tree. Next comes the cambium. This is the growing part of the trunk. On one side, it creates new wood cells, and on the other, it creates new bark. Under the cambium is the xylem. The xylem is made up of young wood. It's the superhighway of water and nutrients from the roots to the rest of the tree. Finally, the heartwood. This is the part that gives a tree its rigid structure. Although this wood is technically dead, the tree would have a hard time surviving without it. As long as we're looking inside the tree, take a look at a cross section of a tree. We all know you can tell a tree's age by counting its rings, but why do trees have rings? In the spring, when sunlight and water are abundant, trees grow quickly, adding big new wood cells. That's the light part of the ring. In the summer, the tree's growth slows and it adds fewer and smaller cells. That's the dark part of the ring. Together, the light and dark areas add up to one year of growth. So, the rings really show you when the tree was growing quickly and when it was taking it easy. And that's a quick look at tree biology. Check out more forest fact breaks or visit OregonForest.org. Yay, forests!